So what's going on YouTube? My name is Mehul and welcome to another Vue.js tutorial in which we're gonna take a look at dynamic style binding with Vue and how basically Vue makes it so easy for you to work with dynamic CSS class names. So let's get started and let's just create a couple of figures on the screen real quick so that we are able to visualize stuff more easily. So I have with me two divs so let's just create some styles here real quick and what I'm going to say is just block or basically we can just keep it to div also width 100 and height 100 and the background could be black right so it makes it visible we can give it a margin okay so here we are with a few CSS fixers and now what I want to do is basically add a dynamic class binding to it so what we can do now is supply an array of classes here right so we can apply class 1 class 2 like that and you would see that in the DOM it actually gets applied right so when you supply an array of classes here it automatically gets applied you can basically supply a static class as well so you can do something like that and view under the hood would combine all of them. So right, you won't get any kind of nasty errors or something like that that you have already declared class or anything like that. We would take care of that under the hood. So right now I'm just omitting it, but just for knowledge, you can do that. So one way is to supply an array of classes, right? The other way is basically you can supply an object with the class name being the key and the value being true or false, whether it should be applied or not. And remember that this is a JavaScript object, so take care of that. So you can omit like codes here if your key is just alphanumeric, but you have to include like your key name if it has like dashes or something like that. So you see it does not really work because we have false here. And once we are true, you can see that we have the class name here right the next way is basically to have a mixture of both so I can have an object with key name as the class and the value as um, whatever if it should be applied or not and then an array of strings which contains the classes which should always be applied right so you can see just like that right so what we can do is just build up pretty quick simple application right here um, and obviously we can move this all this stuff here into the data property as well which is essentially what we're going to do now so I'm going to say this is a class object and what this would be is that basically I would say class object is an array and inside my methods what I'm going to do is say toggle um, color uh, and I'm gonna say this as red and blue and I'm gonna keep it like blue for now and since we do not need any classes so what I'm gonna do is say dot red has a background of red and obviously we need to have like some precedence over here because of the rules how CSS works and then for mm -hmm, let's just say parent div dot blue background is blue right so what we can do now is since you can see that our class object consists of red false and blue true so it gets a blue color right so what we can do now is when I click on this toggle button which I can create right here and we can basically say like classes um, we can also give it a class object for now though we do not really need it so I'm gonna say input type button on clicking I want to toggle the color and value is basically toggle hit save and when I click on toggle nothing happens because we do not have defined anything to happen so what I'm going to say is this dot class object dot red is 
this dot class object dot red and this dot class object dot blue is similarly like that. So now if I hit toggle you see that we change it. we change colors and not really colors but actually classes right so that's what um, view is doing under the hood for us so what we can do now is basically use views class object class binding to um, dynamically set classes to HTML elements and get away with it so that's a pretty handy feature you would need in your components basically when we would learn about view components and we would do that just shortly so yeah i guess that's all for this one and if you liked it then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching i'll see you then in the next video wait your mission should you choose to accept it is to become awesome by going at codedown.com and learning various different things among a community of developers this video will end in one second good luck